Welcome to Cindy E. Eats. I'm Cindy. Hey. If this is your first time joining me, thank you for stopping by. If you've been here before, welcome back. Welcome back to all my aunties, my OGs, my cousins, my brothers, my nieces, my nephews, my grandmas, my grandpas. Come, come, come. Sis got her a whole catfish. This is what time it is, y'all. It is currently like 7.40. A.M. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It is currently like 7.40. A.M. I'm putting a little hot sauce on my catfish. So it's got to be to work at 8 o'clock. But I didn't get no video yesterday. Because I went to... Let's, let me tell you. Every day now I have to pick Lauren up from... Uh, the Boys and Girls Club. So when I leave work, I go to the Boys and Girls Club, pick her up. Yesterday was Bible study. I ain't had no time to get nothing in. I'm sitting at the parking lot and work. And this is my breakfast. I want to thank you to everybody who's been watching my videos. I know it's been a minute. I know it's been a minute. And I thank everybody who's been participate participating, like, watching my videos, commenting. I appreciate it. I know it's been a while, y'all. Starting this new job. Starting a new job anywhere is difficult. You have to adjust. And that's all I've been doing is trying to adjust. So I'm trying to get in there. I haven't put any videos out at home yet because my uh ring light is broke. Um, I have a tripod, but it's short. Water. It's probably the second plane that I flew over near the airport. My job is near the airport. And yes, I'm eating fish before I go into this building. I'm cleaning. I'm taking a shower. I brush my teeth. I got body spray. You look handy before I go in there. I'm hungry. Somebody about to park next to me. I'm going to tell you about this HR case real quick.
Okay, so. This actually happened during Trina. But it, gra it dragged into production. So. This lady. I shouldn't have said that, but. If I'm not telling no names. I'm not giving no descriptions. I'm just going to be using pronouns. And they are the proper pronouns, okay? This lady took out an HR case on a man. Okay? I sat in between them. So the lady was on one side. He was on the other side. This is still pro nah, this I don't know when this was in training. I can't remember. But one day I'm trying to talk to her. You know, ask her how how's it going. Blah blah blah. And she's like, it's going good, but Are you going to tell me what you and him been talking about me about? What you've been saying about me? Sis was flabbergasted. Sis was flabbergasted. You hear me? I gotta check the time, y'all. Hold on. Okay. I got three minutes. Sis was flabbergasted. What do you mean what we've been talking about? I know you've been talking about me. You and him. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Had to, you know, get her right. Baby. I don't know you to talk about you. I have no reason to talk about you. You sit right next to me. Why would I be talking about you and you sit right next to me? And number one thing of all, that's just not in my character. <clears throat> mm -mm. Am I saying I've never gossiped in my life? No. Do I still gossip sometimes? Yes. I'm not talking about people. I may be talking about somebody in a, a particular situation or a particular instance. But just to be, you know what I'm saying, talking about people, how they dress, what they look, no. I don't even know what she meant by that. But anyway. I know I'm on my walk with God. So the very next day, you know, after that time, you know, because that kind of stuck with me. Like, why would she think I was talking about her? So, you know, it came to me, maybe, you know, because I do engage in conversation with him. <clears throat> you know, when you whisper, when talking to somebody, and you're just looking around, especially in a classroom setting, a training setting, you ain't supposed to be talking. So, you know, it may look a certain way. So, <clears throat> me, on my walk with God, trying to be the bigger person, the very next day, I apologize, like, you know, I'm sorry. It may have, you know, looked like, you know what I'm saying? We may have been talking about you, but I promise, you know, she's like, it doesn't matter. I promise you, she turned around. It doesn't matter. He's going to have to suffer the repercussions of his consequences. He's going to have to suffer, suffer his consequences of his actions. What do you do? Sis was still flabbergasted. So one day he get called out the classroom. He stayed missing for a dang near hour. When he come back, he was like, you know, just shaking his head. He looked like he was crying. I'm like, what's wrong? 
He's like, when it comes to my job, I do not play. And for people to be playing with my job like that is crazy. And for me, it hit me like, oh my God, no, she didn't. <clears throat> so we went on break and I had to tell him, you know, what had happened. But then I went and told the trainer, you know, what happened, essentially. Time go on. We get through the class. We get through the next training, the fraud training. Thinking nothing of it. My first week in fraud, we got Cliff, seen the, Cliff, I mean, sis clean the bone at work. There's only one thumbnail. First week on the floor, my manager gives me, because again, we can't have no pencil, no paper, no nothing. My manager gives me a white, a small whiteboard with dry erase writing on it for a phone number. She's like, here, this is for your HR case. I said, my HR case. She was like, yeah, then you put on HR case. I said, no, I ain't got no HR case. Scared me. I'm like, somebody gonna suck an HR case out on me. <laughs> What I do, what I do. I go call this lady and this lady say, I understand you um know such and such, such and such, such and such, such and such. I said no ma'am. <laughs> no ma'am. No ma'am. Let me tell you what happened. I sent you. Tell her what happened. She was like, oh, okay. You know, don't discuss this with anybody. Such and such, such and such. Fine, okay. But you know, I have to go tell that man what happened. Needless to say, I don't have a relationship with that woman. Haven't spoke to her no nothing. Cause no baby. No ma'am. If you play with his job like that, you'll play with my job. And I can't let you do that. So a week and so a week so later, after that, she give me another whiteboard, saying your case. I don't have no case. What are you talking about? So I'm still thinking it's the same thing. Maybe they got other questions. Now what I need y'all to know is. This is my second time talking to HR. The first lady is a black lady. The second lady is, a, I mean, the first lady is a white lady. The second lady is a black lady. The second lady is a black lady, and they both got the same name. So sis was real confused. She was like, no, 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 no. This is for the case you put in. It said that you got more information about what happened. Between that man and that woman. I said, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. I ain't do that. No, ma'am. Mm, I'm going to check the time again, y'all. Hold on. Oh, got five minutes. I was like, no, ma'am. That wasn't me. At all. No, ma'am. So come to find out, I'm going to say she, not he, because I know he ain't do it. She put a case 
in my name to HR without my permission. I don't even know how to put on the case. She said, all you have to do is call. Call? So she called, gave them my name, and said I had more information in regard to the situation that I wanted to report. Crazy. But sis gotta go. She gotta go. I'ma holler at y'all next time. I'ma holler at y'all next time. I promise. Bye.